Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Films Shortwave channel and today I'm going to be looking at the uh, Radio Society of Great Britain's syllabus review and the proposed changes for the Foundation Licence Exam. Uh, these are only the proposed ones and you have until the 21st of July 2017 to tell the RSGB what you think. And I'm going to be using the Essex Ham website to look at these changes I'm going to give me thoughts and uh, what I think of them so the link for the FX exam is going to be in the description box below please check it out so uh, prior knowledge so a new section that states require knowledge of the basics of mass fractions decimals units uh, you know algebra v equals r times r which is I think that's standard anyway uh, addition of micro and giga to the units, decimal point, decimal and exponent notification, numbers from like 10 to the 6 and 10 to the 9 from decimal, well that's easy enough. Licensing conditions, uh, recall the optional slash a slash p slash m slash mm, prefix for which was uh, apparently is intermediate, although I do remember it being in the foundation exam, it's just not knowing what they mean, it's just, uh, you know, well we know slash p's that person is portable. Uh, Add vessel at sea and aircraft conditions, that was from the intermediate exam. Uh, station to test required from time to time that's intermediate, well that should be done. That should be done after long periods of time anyway, so um, I don't see all the problems with that one. Foreign countries do not recognise the foundation licence. Um, that is true in some respects that they have a different tier system in different uh, countries so uh, obviously if you're calling if you're an M6 and you keep calling out CQ on HF might be why but of course it might not be signals getting out so um, updates we call the requirements for ID to include the ID change of operator or supervisor which isn't in the license Interesting, there's no mention of as frequently as practical, which is in the licence, as the definition of broadcasting, well, I suppose that's fine, to be honest. Uh, tech stuff. Parallel series circuits, um, understand that all parts of series are, has the same value. Potential differences across the arms in parallel are the same. That's basically lucky stuff. Um, I've got a basic knowledge of electronics, so I don't see what the problem is for me. In all honesty, with foundation stuff, you're not built well. It doesn't require you to build any circuits, so I think as it is is fine. As I remember doing the exam, it was um, it was a basic circuit, and you had to switch the light on it to close. Was it something like to close the to make the bulb light up? Close switch here, and then what do you do? What else do you like? Do you, do you link up A and B or A and C or something like that? That's kind of obvious in certain respects. So, as more resistors including that are current through resistor results in the conversion of electrical energy to electrical heat, that's from the intermediate, well, that's basic electronics. Um, most of this seems to be pulled down from the intermediate, so unless they're going to make the intermediate difficult or they'll make the full difficult, I'm not sure. And as this yellow box says, an increase from 20 atoms to 44 atoms, and I can't see the reason why any of the new proposed material needs to be here. Intermediate introduces circuits with practicals, like use of multimeters to test the theory, so that really... I suppose most of that should stay in the intermediate, because on foundation, you know, you just want to get, it's just to get you on the air. It's like taking a compulsory bike test, bike training rather. That's just to get you out on the road. It, that's it, it is as, as is. Uh, transmitters and receivers introduces sidebands. Uh, Amplitude modulated signals contain two sidebands on the carrier and the contents are single sideband, that was intermediate. Uh, loads on mat loads on the matching. Short, so sorry, software defined values, receivers and transmitters, digital voice, etc. Um, Lack of any mention of single sideband at the foundation was always a puzzle. So I think that should be added to uh, the foundation because obviously when you're allowed to go on a HF it's not all FM mode, it's single sideband. 
so I think perhaps that should go in. Um, bit about SDRs, I'll come to that later. That is mentioned later on in the uh, on the website. Feeders and antennas. I'd wave guard as a third type of feeder. Uh, feeder loss, etc. Antenna radiation patterns. Uh, I identify the pair of diagrams for the half wave dipole and Yagi and I identify the directions of maximum and minimum radiation that was from the intermediate. Um, I think perhaps a bit more antennas possibly but I don't think it's really necessary for the polar diagram. I mean if, if you can build an antenna and the antenna's got a good radiation pattern obviously you look at design and what have you then you have to think, okay, well, this antenna may limit me to this, that, and the other, but I don't see why it should get really uh, technical. So it's said, uh, yeah, previously there's 18 external items in this section, proposed change makes it to 40 items. Well, extra material moved on mass from the intermediate, make a much more complex module. It's, I don't think it's truly helpful on foundation. Uh, I've got a copper J pole up in the loft. Well, make me contacts with FM through the repeaters, and to be honest with you, it works. I'm not bothered about the radiation pattern. I'm not bothered about the polar diagrams. It works. Uh, currently building an center fed dipole, which was a club project before I joined the club, uh, the local club. Hey, I I got basic understanding of the radiation patterns, but you know, if if it works, it works, and if it Nails me to use my little five watt handheld and get a bit of signal on that. Well, it's the, it's the bonus. So, uh, propagation, large on change, add more to the unsphere D, E, F1, F2 layers. And the fact from the F2 layer is the main mode of long distance HF propagation, which was intermediate, and has sporadic E for the HF, which was intermediate. And apparently, these are only properly explained in the intermediate syllabus so not really clear why they're introduced but not explained uh, electromagnetic compatibility this is actually um, a big big one because you know lots of these cheap crappy electronic devices or badly built electronically devices um, some of you may know that I have a problem on HF with the person next door on there it's a plasma screen TV you know that's uh, perhaps a bit about it, but not overly much about it. Um, material added for radios fit to cars, including requirements for candidates to call the following. So, we call that need to refer to the vehicle manufacturer's handbook. Not that I've seen in any modern manufacturer's handbook on about installing a home radio. Uh, 12 volt power socket should not be used because you get interference on the alternator. RF can cause interference to vehicle electronic circuits including audio systems, navigation systems, remote locking alarms and engine fuel management systems. Yeah, not on my car, it's an old one. Operating practices and receipt and procedures. Large on change, some tidying up. Um, candidates need to know the meaning of the disease for using the following QSO, 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 QSY, QTH, QRT and QSB. Um, they can be easily picked up to be honest. Um, I see no reason why they shouldn't be in the foundation exam. And the reason for CQ, D, DX, RS, T, K, N, C, W, K and S, K, which was intermediate also. Compatibility of digital voice and digital data modes. Uh, other users of digital voice should check the channel is not in use for any other modes. As requirements know that special event stations start with the call signs of GB. Uh, no transmission on beacon frequencies, no terrestrial contacts on satellites frequencies. Sent an image easier syllabus, but so apparently doesn't need to be taught at foundation. Um, QTH, QSO, etc. should be on the foundation. I only found out about them by uh, Google. So, yeah, perhaps they should be on there. Uh, Ilaki safety, uh, RSD product protection, wheels intermediate. Tool safety and eye production and suave hand tool care was intermediate. Soldering, splashing and stands and ventilation which are also intermediate. Um, using ladders were intermediate. Exposure to radiation, body tissues and eyes. 
Sources for safe levels of RF radiation and dangers of microfrequency waveguide high gain antennas, which is intermediate. I think extra safety advice should be on there. Primarily because you work with electronics anyway, and it's really inadvisable to take a grab of your little antenna when you're powering up. You may be limited to 10 watts on foundation, but it's not really best practice. Particularly if you decide to crank it up to 100 watts and do the same thing. <laughs> uh, practical assessments unchanged apparently, so that's, uh, that's fine. Alternatives to the most practical, I didn't have a most practical on mine. Um, I think they kind of dropped it. It um, is there if you want it. I am actually practicing Morse code with the Morse code app. I've done a review on that, so I'll link that as well if you wish, or put it on one of these cards. Uh, demonstrate how to set up a software defined radio such as the ICOM 7300 or any other SD radio. Uh, make an additional software interface and then make a QSO via digital mode, PSK, JT65, JT9 or Whisper. Weak signal propagation report. Good alternative to using Morse because it's not in the exam. It's there as is if you want to learn it. I think it is a good idea to learn it. But they mandate an SCI only for data, so apparently the all clubs possess, possess trainers and they have a £1,200 SDR transceivers. It's, um, hmm. I do see the point of SDRs, they are coming in, but like I said, they are overground for an SDR radio, it's a bit, it's a bit much. Nothing about SSTV, and you can't have a QSO and whisper light because it's just um, just testing your antenna out, really. Uh, and as a bit says on here, understand how the syllabus review was us, that intermediate would get slightly more difficult to make the jump from intermediate to full a little easier. 93% of the people passed intermediate in 2015 compared to 6 8 passing full. So they can see the logic in adding more to intermediate. And here's, here's my thoughts on it. I think the only good thing that the RSGB can do with this uh, proposed changes is to do more on safety because you are operating with electronics. There is maybe the temptation to crack it open and have a look. Also, you may want to start building um, electrical circuits. I'm currently doing a... Um, Two valve regenerative radio. That's bought a kit off of eBay a while back. I'm also going to try and build one of those uh, 40 meter CW Pixie QRP kits, but I'm going to save that for when I do do the intermediate. Because with the intermediate, you've got to build a you got to build a circuit and test it and make sure it works, etc. So I think that's that's the only decent thing they should put on as well. Perhaps have an addition to it use of repeaters now I never got any questions about repeaters on the exam and also in the foundation handbook I didn't say anything about the use of repeaters and quite a few people mentioning in various amateur radio Facebook groups that oh the repeaters don't get used uh, VHF UHF is dead well it's only as only as dead as you make it you know if if you sit there and listen to repeater and don't call out then you're not going to get any contacts so I think perhaps uh, they should introduce repeater usage, how to program on the repeater and how the repeater works. Maybe have a few QSOs on the repeater to get used to it. Also, there's been quite a few um, discussions on the Facebook groups about, um, about what they do as amateurs are buying, uh, particularly the foundation holders. And it was saying that, oh, well, you know, it's, they should be limited to what radio they can buy. Because basically anyone can go out and buy a, a amateur radio. You know, I got the Bofong GT3 before I was licensed, but nobody asked me was I licensed. Also, you get some people who um, breach the 10 watt limit, which is a thing. It's it's asking for trouble, to be honest. But for some, just say, oh well, you can only buy a radio that goes on these bands and has this amount of power you can transmit with. The reason why I got my ESO FT857 
is because it can go all on all bands and on the HF it can go, can go up to 100 watts so whenever I do the intermediate exam I don't have to sell a radio and go out and buy another one and to sell that radio to go buy another one and do the full and quite a lot of people do abuse that to uh, the privilege of 10 watts some people think oh I'll just crank it up I won't get noticed you will you will get noticed because I, I was having the QSO with somebody on a repeater and he's saying I'm just about hitting the box but I'm not coming through you can hear what I was saying but it wasn't really clear and because I was on H tried to go on HF earlier and I was uh, using an antenna tuner you have to, when you tune your antenna you have to turn the wattage down a bit and it was uh, it was on 5 watts so I turned it up to 10 got back to him so you're a lot clearer now and I mentioned so well I was trying to go on HF earlier tuning my antenna and I left it on 5 watts so I just turned it up to 10 so you can you, you will be found out if you're illegally running power um, quite a few people were complaining about uh, oh well you know they should be limited to the bands are on well how can you get used to HF if you're not allowed on HF that's um, that's another one to think of so it's um, in all honesty I think they should push more electrical safety but I think they should just leave it everything else because foundation needs to be kept simple to get new people onto it and if you make it too difficult they may be put off so it's um, I kind of see that foundation is something to get you started off and if you enjoy the hobby as much as I do it may push you on to doing the intermediate and the full but if it's something you're not particularly in it's not what you thought it was then well you can still go on VHF, UHF and a bit of HF um, certain bands but you know you, you've not really lost much so um, that's my thoughts on it anyway I'll leave all links in the description and um, I'd like to know what you think so let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you in the next video. 70 fees.